scratch without using the jog wheels in DJ Pro. DJ Pro gives us one of the best and most responsive jog wheels in any DJ app out there, but there's also many other ways that you could perform awesome scratches without using the jog wheel at all. So let's get right into it. First of all, if we go over here to pro mode, I have turned jog wheels off. If you guys want to turn jog wheels off, you go over here. It's a little bit tricky. You see where it says this one or this two representing the waveforms of the deck? You press that and then you could put the jog wheels on, put the jog wheels off. So since we're scratching without the jog wheels, I turn them off. So one way to scratch without using the jog wheel at all is by scratching with the waveform. So if you grab the waveform and you scratch it, you will be able to scratch. And I feel like sometimes it's easier on some devices, like especially the phone, to scratch with the to scratch with the waveforms instead of the jog wheels. So to do a baby scratch, you just grab the waveform and go forward. And if you go faster, it'll be a more high pitch sound. If you go slower, it'll be a low pitch sound. So you could mix them up and then make beats, beats and melodies. So it's really fun to do and really easy to do. And then if you want to step it up to an advanced scratch like that, you could use the cross use the crossfader. So down here is the crossfader. If you put it to the deck that that you're not using the scratch, all the way over there to the left. And then if you hold if you tap over here in the middle, it'll be playing both track both decks at the same volume. But if you let go, it'll instantly snap back. So um, the, the scratch called the chirp scratch, that's when you do a baby scratch, but you move the crossfader over like at the perfect time, and then you hear a chirp sound. So instead of ever, ever, you're gonna hear chirp, chirp, chirp. So I'll show you. So crossfader to the left. Oops. And then hold the crossfader in the middle, and then get ready to do your scratch. And we're gonna do two baby scratches and a chirp scratch. So if you heard like the, it sounds like a bird chirping, it's pretty hard to do. I've been practicing it for a while and sometimes I miss it. So keep practicing of letting go of the jog wheel at the correct time. There we go. And it sounds really good with baby scratches. So that's a really cool scratch that you could do, but also DJ Pro has put in a little like kind of hidden hidden secret when it comes to scratching. So if you are scratching with the song like this, so we're just moving the waveform left and right, but if you use two fingers instead of one finger, then it's going to crust cut the crossfader back and forth really rapidly. And it's going to sound like you're doing a really professional like scribble scratch, but it's doing it for you. So use two fingers and then do the same thing and scratch with two fingers. So it sounds really cool. Just experiment with the different scratch samples that you're using. I'm using the DJ Qbert scratch tools. If you hold down the music button over in the right, you can see scratch tools, and that's what we're using. So another way to scratch without using the waveforms and without using the jog wheel is going to be by using the Q, Q buttons. So we're gonna set up a Q button on where we wanna start the scratch. And then we're simply just going to press the Q button. So it's some scratch samples sound better than others. Like if we do this one.
It doesn't really sound good. It just sounds like you're pressing the Q button. And then if you do this one, this is the first one. And now we're just pressing the Q button here. It just sounds like we're backing up a forklift. But if we do a scratch sample like this, right here, whoops. we're gonna set our cue point over here. So it set, kind of sounds like a, like a chirp scratch. So what you could do is you could load up a scratch sample on the other deck, scratch tools. Now we're gonna go over here to this this sample here. We're gonna set a cube we're gonna set the cue point here. So it's set up here. And now we're gonna scratch with the left deck, and then we're gonna add in the chirp scratch that we made with the cue button on the other. So we're gonna move the move these waveforms over here to scratch to do the baby scratch, and then we're gonna do this chirp scratch. So. Oh, hold on. Ever, ever, it's chirp. And then I added in an echo at the end. So you can make this scratch sound even better if you add a little bit of echo to it. So if you load up over here, you go to effects, if you see where my mouse is, effects, and then we have the echo over here, but we're not gonna do a full echo. If you move this knob, which is the wet dry knob, it'll sound, it'll, it won't be as strong of an effect. So we're gonna go like maybe like 60%. And then this is what you get. So if you add the echo at the end, I think it sounds really cool. And now another way, which is the more difficult way to scratch without using a without using the jog wheels, would be to load up your scratches into a sample pack. I made a separate full video about this. So what you do is you go go over here. So that is a baby scratch that I recorded, and this is a chirp scratch that I recorded. So if you learn how to do the scratches with the jog wheel, now you could record them and load them into your sample so it's easier to do when you're doing a live DJ performance, and it makes it easier to focus on other stuff because you already know you could do the scratches, so why not load them into a deck so you don't have to be doing it on the iPad or if you have a smaller controller, it could be difficult to do the scratches, so having them in your sample pack is just really cool. So, here we go. Let me just turn that echo off. So now we have the baby scratch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go We're gonna go to this middle button here, and then we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit record. We're gonna start a new audio recording, and we're gonna do the scratch. So just grab the jog wheel. Whoops, that was a little too fast, but we could edit that out. That's the good thing about doing this because once you record a perfect scratch, it'll be there forever in your samples. And it's hard to do with the mouse, so I'll just. That was good. So now we're going to go back to the middle button and press end record. Stop recording. And that's a recording right there. And now we're going to load it into a deck. So now our recording is loaded into the deck. And I know towards the end was where we got them. The scratch is good. So we're just going to fast forward to there. Then we're going to go to set. So that was pretty good. Yeah, so these ones are the best. So now what we're gonna do is you go to the middle button, you press record, and now we're gonna 
Now we're going to record it again, but we're going to add an effect. We'll add the echo at the end. So we're going to hit record again. Do the scratch with some echo. Record. I missed the echo at the end. Let's do it again. So that was good. So now it recorded the scratch and the effect on it. And now we're going to stop the recording. I know it seems like a lot of work, but you got you, once you do it a lot, you could get it faster at it. So now it's loaded up into the deck again. And I know the first one wasn't good, so we're going to the second one. Make sure the echo's turned off. So this is what we got. Set a cue point there. Or a cue. So that, I think that's pretty cool. So we're going to go to the middle button. And now we're not gonna we're not gonna record it again with this record button. We're gonna record it over here in the sampler. So here is the sampler. To edit the sampler, you press the pencil button down here at the bottom. And now we're just gonna choose a random one. Go choose which box you want to do it in and press these three dots. Go to My Samples. And that is on deck two, I believe. So you're just going to hold the record button on the deck for as long as you want to record. So this is what we got. Let's just do it again. I don't know what happened. Press the three dots. Get our cue ready. Okay. Press the press the break it down. Three dots. My samples. Now go up. Deck two. And then hold it in for as long as you wanted to record it. And there it is. And now it's loaded into the deck. And we can we can edit it. Scratch. So now what you can do is you can use this scratch sample scratching with the jog reels. So if you like learning how to do things in different ways with DJ Pro and learn how to do new stuff with DJ Pro and DJing with the iPad, subscribe to my channel. I make DJ videos every day.